Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be explaining how to find a conditional probability from a normal distribution. Let's have a look at the key fact for this particular section. Let A and B be two events. Probability A, given that the event B has taken place, is equal to probability A intersect B divided by probability B, provided that probability B is not equal to zero. Let's have a look at this exam style question. The heights of females from a country are normally distributed with a mean of 166.5 cm, a standard deviation of 6.1 cm. Given that 1% of females from this country are shorter than k cm, part A, find the value of k. So ladies and gents, we're going to start by defining a random variable for the height of the females. Let capital H be the height of the females. We know that h takes on a normal distribution with a mean of 166.5 and variance 6.1 squared. Now in the question it says that 1% of females from this country are shorter than k centimeter. So shorter than k centimeter means that h is less than k. The probability of this happening is actually 1% which is 0.01. Our target is to find the value of k. Let's represent this probability under a bell-shaped curve. So here is my bell-shaped curve. The bell-shaped curve, ladies and gents, is centered at the mean of 166.5. Now, we want to shade in the area 0.01 to the left of k. So where do we position k so that the area to the left of k is 0.01, which is a very small area? Well, we'll have to position the k over here. This area to the left is 0 0.01. We want to work out the value of k. To do this, we have to use the inverse normal function in our class base calculator. So the area that we input is 0 0.01. The mean mu is 166.5 the standard deviation sigma is 6.1 so we're going to be using the inverse normal function to work out the value of k so if i use the inverse normal function i get that k is equal to 152 to three significant figures okay so we have that k is equal to 152 to three significant figures so if we were to be a bit more specific, k represents a height. So we have a height of 152 centimetre. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the question. Moving on to part B. In part B, we want to find the probability that the height is between 150 and 175. Okay, first of all, we know that h follows a normal distribution with a mean of 166.5 and variance 6.1 squared. This probability represents an area under the bell-shaped curve. Let's represent the area. So here is my bell-shaped curve. It is centered at the mean of 166.5. Now 150 is on the left-hand side of 166.5, so it'll be somewhere over here. And 175 is on the right-hand side of 166.5. It will be somewhere over here. The probability that we're trying to calculate represents this particular area. Now, as you can see from the bell-shaped curve, the lower limit is going to be 150. The upper limit is going to be 175. The mean mu is 166.5 and the standard deviation sigma is 6.1. So we're going to use the normal CD function in our class with calculator in order to calculate this particular probability. Okay, so if I use my normal CD function, I get that the probability of the height being between 150 and 175 is equal to 0.9148 to four decimal places. Okay, so that there completes part B of the question. Moving on to the last part of the question. 
A female from this country is chosen at random from those with heights between 150cm and 175cm. Part C, find the probability that her height is more than 160cm. So we have a population of females and we're studying the height. We're going to restrict the population of females to females with height between 150cm and 175cm. So given that, we're looking at females with a height between 150 and 175. We want to work out the probability that the height of the female is greater than 160. So we have a conditional probability. We're going to rewrite this conditional probability using this particular formula. So we can treat this to be event A and this here to be event B. Okay. So probability A given B is equal to probability A intersect B divided by probability B. So we have probability H is greater than 160 intersect with H is between 150 and 175. Okay, so this probability, we have to divide it by the probability of B taking place, which is this event over here. So the height is between 150 and 175. Firstly, we want to find the intersection between this event and this event over here. So if I was to draw a number line, I'll have something like this. I've got 150 here, I've got 160 here, and I've got 175 over here, roughly. So we have a height which is more than 160, so I can represent this particular inequality as so. And then we have a height between 150 and 175. So I can represent that particular inequality as so. Now, where is the intersection? Well, ladies and gents, the intersection is over here. That is my intersection. So the numerator reduces to the probability of H being between 160 and 175. Divide by the probability that h is between 150 and 175. Okay, now this denominator over here is a probability that we calculated in part b. It was 0 0.9148. So we have probability that the height is between 160 and 175 divided by this probability, which is 0 0.9148. 8. So all that's left to be calculated is this particular probability. We can represent this on a bell-shaped curve. So here is my bell-shaped curve. It is centered at the mean of 166.5. 160 will be on the left-hand side over here and 175 will be on the right side over here. So we want to calculate this area which represents this probability. As you can see from the diagram, the lower limit is 160, the upper limit is 175, the mean mu is 166.5, and finally the standard deviation is 6.1. Okay, so I can use the normal CD function in my class with calculator with these values in order to calculate this numerator, this probability. Okay, so if I use my calculator, I get that this probability in the numerator is equal to 0 0.7749 to four decimal places. Okay, so that there is to 4 dp. Then we divide this by 0 0.9148. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 0 0.8471 to four decimal places. And that there is my final answer. Now, usually in the exam, they like to put in conditional probability for the normal distribution. So you need to be able to apply the conditional probability formula to a context like this or any other context. Always look out for the word given that. So given that tells you something has already taken place. So that is your conditional event. 
Given that that particular event has taken place, you are then required to work out a certain event taking place. So over here, we have given that the height is between 150 and 175, we had to find the probability that the height will be more than 160. So that's how we set up the probability. We apply the formula. Uh, we can work out the intersection between two events by drawing the number line, reduce the probability to this fraction over here, and then calculate each of these individual probabilities, put it into your calculator, and you get the final answer. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this particular teaching video. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, turn on the notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I upload teaching videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.